Hey, Matt Savage here on my favorite golf hole in the entire world, number 16 in Pasa Tiempo. And while I'm not at home to do the Savage Beats segment, I do have a special guest this week looking to fill in who's taken some Savage Beats of his own. Next up, Jamie Staples. Hello everyone, my name is Jamie Staples and I am incredibly honored to be guest hosting the Savage Beat of the Week. Unfortunately, I am the star of these four clips. Let's jump into the action. So we're gonna kick it off here and I am in the bubble of a $3,200 satellite right now. I am the shortest stack in the tournament, but 26 pay, 25 get a full seat. All I need is to win with the King Jack. How could I not win with the King Jack, right? It's a beautiful hand, it's folded around to me. What are the odds that the big blind has a better hand than me? What are the chances? Jonathan P calling with the queen six, queen nine five on the flop, I need a 10. I need a 10 to survive and no. And that unfortunately is your bubble of the week. Picking up the action in the $3,200 eight max, I have three bet pre-flop and I have flopped a set of jacks. This is the dream situation. I could be up against a king, I could be up against a queen, I could be up against all sorts of hands here. We go for the C bet, we get a call. Beautiful six of diamonds on the turn. My opponent has 90,000 left. There's no problems here. All the chips, they're going in the middle. What could go wrong? <laughs> it's still, honestly, it's been a week. I'm recording this a week later. You can't, it just, that's not okay, poker gods. That's not okay. In a 3200 championship event buy-in of the WPT, WOC, no thank you. That is your sunken boat of the week. Back to the $3,200 eight max. I'm sitting a little shorter now after that tragedy. I pick up the nut flush draw against Michael Kane with Patrick Leonard in the pot as well. Loving this hand and need to pick up some chips. And I decide, I think it's time we go with this. I mean, a six of diamonds, pretty good. Nut flush draw, maybe I can get him to fold something like a straight draw or, or you know, uh, a small pair that might bet here. So we're gonna go for the raise, put it in to 48,000. What are you gonna do, Michael? Michael Kane gets it in. We got the A6 of diamonds, but boom! On the turn, it's the seven! The full house, flush on the river, but it doesn't matter. It's not good enough. That is your flushed away moment of the week. And now to the $320 mini championship event where I pick up pocket jacks. Hopefully I'm gonna fare better in this one than the 3200. We three bet it to 36,000 against Powell Brzezki. Powell sitting there thinking, deciding what to do. I've lived this moment. I know what Powell's gonna do. Powell's not fold. That's a spoiler for you guys. This is not gonna be a fold as we're flashing back to the 3200 in real time. But here it is, Powell putting in the chips in a moment here. There it is, all in with the jacks. We call it off. 33 blinds against ace queen. Big spot, big moment, big flip in a big tournament. Six of hearts, fade it. No. Uh-uh. King of hearts. I got the clap going on there. I got the clap going on. Wasn't happy about that. And that is your flip of the week. So that's a pretty good summary, I think, of my 3200 and my 320 uh, 8 Max Championship this week on Party Poker. But incredibly excited to keep going in this series. Savage Beats of the Week, loving this series. Matt Savage, thank you so much for inviting me to guest host this week. But until next time, we'll see you later.